Hello everybody, my name is Ronnie on guard, and welcome back for more Pokemon Emerald. In the last part, we, um, encountered some, uh, unfortunate things. Uh, losing Batani to Lulu. <sighs> but, you know, then, also, <laughs> catching some Pokemon with some very unfortunate natures. <laughs> Not that that's, you know, too big of a surprise here on this channel. Jeez. Um, and I also took the liberty of getting, you might have, well, you might have, might have already seen, or noticed, I should say, that I, I picked up a new HM slave since, you know, HM01, the Ninkata was only supposed to be temporary, so now we, I'm using, is it Versace? Yes, Versace, as our HM slave. So, you know, that's that's neat. Um, also, I took the liberty of giving my Lodic the... Um, well, I, I bought another um, Ice Beam TM, so now that now uh, Narcissus has a proper, you know, move that isn't just Surf. <laughs> so, you know... I'm feeling, feeling pretty good, feeling pretty prepared. Oh, God damn it. Ha! We don't have to capture you, because this is the southwest area where we caught a Marigold, the Doa Duo. Uh, yeah, and I also, you know, <laughs> the reason why I'm in here again is because, you know, now I have the, the bike. The, the mock bike, to be precise. So now we can actually see if we can capture anything in here. But you know, oh. but you know we, we, we might be able to. But what am I saying? Of course we're going to be able to do it. Do it. The question is, is what is it going to be? Actually, it's only, it, it's only possible to be one of two things, actually. Uh, it's either going to be a Rhyhorn or a Pinsir. Personally, I'm hoping for the Rhyhorn, but, um, <laughs> you never know. Ha 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 Uh, still with, um, the rules of, um, I'm, I'm if, if, there, if it's something that I haven't caught, I'm just gonna chuck a balls at it until I either capture it or it runs away. And if it runs away, I'm just gonna, you know, go to the next encounter. And, you know, standard species clause of, if I, if I've already caught it, then I don't have to capture it again. Ah, <sighs> man. I actually just came home from a... from a walk, you know. Keeping on with that Pokemon Go, because, you know, that's something to spend your time on. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I guess that's... it's better that I spend time on that than, you know, just sitting inside doing nothing. Because, you know, that could easily happen. <laughs> uh... Oh, there it is. The Rhyhorn. Now, hopefully, I'm going to be able to capture this thing. Huh. Well, what do you know? Ooh. Ooh, name. A name for you, miss. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it was just the first thing that popped into my head, as you know. <laughs> I tend, I tend to go with that, you know. If something pops in my head, I just go with it. But let's check you out, Evangeline. <laughs> Fucking Evangeline, jeez. Huh. Lonely and Rocket. That's um, pretty good, actually. It, absolutely perfect would be either an adamant or a jolly nature, but, you know, lonely, perfectly fine. But per perfectly okay with that. Ooh, is there a, an, an item behind here? There might very well be. There is a secret base, I'm pretty sure, but, um... Ah... Uh, oh, well. <laughs> it was worth, worth a try. 
So now, actually, what I'm thinking that I'm gonna do is just, um... Getting to the top of Mount Pyre... I don't know why I said that so weirdly. Um... Getting to the top of Mount Pyre, taking on, you know, the... The Team Aqua Grunts that we saw, you know... Huddling... To go to Mount Pyre. Um... And then, you know, continue down south to Route 123 to finish up that. So, you know, a little story progress, a little cleaning up, you know, a pretty good uh, balance, I'd say. Because if you look at it, <laughs> I've definitely had some episodes that have, you know, just been me, um cleaning up, as it were, not doing much of, uh, not doing much progressing. Jesus lord, my phone is buzzing. Ugh, it seems I've not learned my, my lesson. Because usually I keep it on, um, like, I always turn it on silent, but I also forget that I should, uh, not just turn it on silent, I should also turn off vibration, just so that it doesn't, you know, sit there buzzing and distracting me. Usually it's not a problem, because, you know, <laughs> I don't exactly get contacted by people too often, but apparently I'm getting messages left and right. Jeez, what do you want? I wonder, is there something... No, it doesn't look like it. Oh! Ha! Knew there was something here. I actually, speaking of zinc, I'm actually planning on, uh... Um, uh, planning on uh, buying a lot of vitamins, actually. Because, uh... Vitamins could definitely help us, you know, boost our, our team up a little bit. Not that, not that we're really needy, because I feel like our team is pretty pretty good as, as it is, but, um, you know, wouldn't it wouldn't exactly hurt to give them some, you know, carbos and protein and all that good shit. Oh, I should have let you take on Team Magma first. I actually never read that, or at least I can't remember reading that, that, um, Team Magma appeared here first. <laughs> we can't fall behind. <laughs> well, too late for that. Ugh. God, I almost burped. But, uh, I didn't. <laughs> oh, God, I, I don't know. Just one of those, like, half burps that are almost like, oh. Don't, don't, don't really know how to explain that, but. By the way, this fucking Team Aqua Grunt with his one fucking Zubat. Can you d please do a little better? <laughs> Jesus Lord. Um, yeah, this Team Aqua Grunt with his one Zubat. Which reminds me of uh, the fact that I actually did win. I did go back. Um, that one episode to um, to check who uh, who in Team Aqua actually uses uh, like water types at all, and literally every single grunt uses Carvana or Sharpedo, except for one Team Aqua grunt. It, I guess that was him. Wow. <laughs> I didn't... that didn't even register. Wow. That was the one Team Aqua Grunt that actually uses a water type that isn't in the Carvana family. Huh. Who would have imagined? Um... yes. Come on, Spunt. Don't, don't let the... oh, come on. Why is it that confusion always works? Like, dentro... dentro detrimentally towards you, but never against the opponent. Well, I mean, I guess that's, like, the case of, uh, 
uh, like me negative reinforcement from your brain of like you only remember the bad stuff when bad things happen or something like that. I don't know. Some kind of brain science that I don't know. But basically that you know. Like, oh, this bad thing always happened, and then when you think back on it, then you can only think of the bad thing happening. Oh, well. <laughs> I don't know why I'm, like, kind of out of it today. I guess I should have picked a better day for recording, but, um... Like, I, that is actually one thing I can talk about, is that I'm trying my best to, um do daily recordings, actually. Because um, right now, this is because this is episode 21, I think? Um, yeah, that should be. Uh, and by today, if I manage to upload this today, then I would I will have uploaded a video every day for 21 days. Which, yeah, that that is three weeks? Yeah. 3 times 7, 21. Um, and I'm, you know, it, it's not like I'm trying my very, like, I'm, it's not like I feel like I'm gonna fail if I don't upload every day, but I feel like uh, that I've, you know, come on, I, now that I got, I've gotten this far, I wanted to, you know, keep going and all that shit. Oh, we should pop a citrus berry for speed, just in case. Never know. Oh. Uh, so yeah, it's not like a, if I quote unquote fail to upload a day that I'm gonna you know take that as a as a loss really. Uh, but you know, <laughs> as long as I'm on this good uh, at this good pace, I might as well continue. You know, this should be a rare cat. Yeah. Hmm. A pretty useful, I'd say. I think we have six for our candies by this point. Which, you know, that is really good, actually. <laughs> if I wanted, I could literally have a level 51 flag on right now. <laughs> that is pretty crazy. I do, I do say so myself. Mmm, yeah, I don't trust that coughing. <laughs> because that coughing probably has self-destruct. Or at least, you know, it has, like, poison and all that kind of shit. In the form of, like, sludge or something. Sludge. <laughs> Such a guttural word. <laughs> oh no, a 50 power physical attack from a cast form. Oh no, whatever will I do? <laughs> God. I actually thought about using the cast form that we have, um, Titty Sprinkle, but then I discovered that it has a jolly nature, and uh, I feel like I've, I've uh, said this before, that, you know, it's not like I really care that much about natures. I mean, uh, my arm alone, I, my... Our Milotic here has an adamant nature, so, like, clearly, I I don't care that much. But, like, <laughs> if the Pokémon is already bad, then having a negative nature is, like, you know, doubly detrimental. Wow, that, that, that was a word and a half. Doubly detrimental. <laughs> so, for example, yeah, with uh, our own Solrock, uh, which had a... Yeah, modest nature, uh, which you know lowers attack when it already has like pretty not very good attack. Then um, you know uh, cast form and uh, that fucking uh, dust skull and shut it. You know, if you already have bad stats and then have a negative nature, yeah, then I'm. Then the nature kind of has something to uh, to say. I sh I I think. And actually, I am thinking of catching this shepherd because we still haven't caught anything on this route. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Let's go, Narcissus. 
Merci, sus. Ooh, Nightshade. That's uh, an interesting move. Hmm. I wonder if it's gonna use Curse or not. It might very well. Yeah, actually, if we switch to Versace, it's a very good chance that he's gonna use Curse. Do we have anything here? I think if I use Odor, I don't... <laughs> I know that Foresight allows you to hit Ghost types, but I don't know about Odor Sleuth, actually. But, you know... Well, let's just try to bait it into using Curse. Okay, Scree Screech, Nightshade, Spite... I think the last attack is Curse? I don't actually know, though. <laughs> wow. Spite missing. That's not something you see too often. Yeah, yeah, come on. Show me your last move, damn it. Oh, come on. <laughs> Just curse me. Curse me. <laughs> Oh, there we go. God. Such a violent animation. <laughs> Just, you know, casually stabbing yourself in the head. So now, let us throw out the repeat ball. Because, you know, we have it, so we might as well use it. Two, three, and there we go. Ha ha. Now, what to name you? Sardine. <laughs> oh my god, that that's a dumb name. <laughs> Sardine. God damn it, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Sardine. Oh well. At least now we have a... a <laughs> One last Shuppet. Well, I mean, I guess it's only the second Shuppet, because, you know, we caught the one, and then we tried to catch another one, but got a Vulpix instead, which also had a bad nature. <laughs> I can just never catch a break with that, can I? Oh, well. Zangoose, that could is a potent wow oh well but <laughs> at least we had surf um zangoose is actually could be potentially dangerous because you know it has it actually has a pretty good attack i think it has like 120 base attack which is you know pretty absurd <laughs> uh, yeah let's just continue with that oh it's a viper oh I'm really sad. Well, of course I'm sad that I lost a Pokemon, but like sad that I lost a Viper because you know I feel like that's an unconventional Pokemon, which made me really happy about using it because you know I, I really enjoy using unconventional Pokemon. Well, I mean, not that Milotic isn't the most unconventional Pokemon in the world, you know. I, I, but I feel like not a lot of people have used a Milotic in-game, at least in Emerald, because, you know, actually getting a Milotic is, you know, a pain in the fucking ass. Because you gotta, you know, find that one tile, well, at least one of the... I think it's four... It's either four or six water tiles. And, you know, that could easily... I, I think... All those water tiles can potentially be locked behind Waterfall. So, you know, if you don't have the Waterfall HM, then, you know, 
good luck getting that fee bass. Well, I mean, you could always just, you know, um, run back to, um, fucking, um, Duford to change the, the word to, um, make the tiles, uh, to randomize the tiles. God. I do remember getting Feebas being, you know, such a huge fucking nightmare. <laughs> oh man. And also, you know, didn't exactly get any better in, uh, in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. You know, with, um, the, that one underground room that just had, you know, that pool of water. Just, uh, excuse me for a second here. God fucking damn it, I just got a snap from one of my friends. He... Because, uh, right now, him and... Him and I... Yeah, that would be the right way to say that. We are doing a uh, shiny only run on uh, Pokemon Heart Gold. Don't ask me why we're doing that, because, you know, well... I feel like you might have already noticed that I uh, do have a <laughs> masochistic streak when it comes to Pokemon. Well, I suppose video games in general, but especially Pokemon. And that motherfucker already, already has his shiny starter. How dare he? <laughs> oh my god. He, cause he just sent me a snapshot of him... Um, he got a, uh, shiny, um, Cyndaquil, while I'm, you know, still soft resetting for one. Well, I mean, soft, soft resetting for a shiny starter in general, because thankfully in, um, in Hargold and Soul Silver, you, you're able to check all three starters for shininess at once, so... It's actually... I would, I would actually probably say that, um, getting a shiny starter is easiest in, um... In uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver, because you can check all three at once, so you know you can soft reset approximately three times per minute, and then you know uh, every every soft reset you're able to check for three shinies, so you know the well. I I guess saying that the chance is tripled isn't exactly correct math. I get I think. But still, the chance of getting one is increased. Still. Because, you know, instead of just checking one and one and one, you're checking three at a time every single time. <laughs> three at a time, every single time. Trying to drink water and it drinks down the side of my face. Psst, you know, just casually trying to steal quotes. Well, I, I guess not steal. Steal wouldn't be the right word, but you know. Saying quotes that aren't mine. <laughs> oh my god, why? Five? Five? <laughs> oh, golly gosh, Rooney. Actually, I'm thinking right now, because we did get the mag the magma, the magma emblem. I don't remember if we're supposed to go um, go for uh, the Team Aqua hideout right now, or if we were supposed to go for the Team Aqua one. God, it's been it's been a long time, like, and I, I I guess this is like one of the one of the things that I've always kind of not remembered clearly, like I've already always kind of struggled with is that I never remember when you're supposed to do the Magma Hideout. Uh, that's uh, above the Lava Ridge. Because I, I remember very clearly with the Ruby and Sapphire, like when you've done Monpire, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to get to a Slate Board, see that they've um, acquired the... I was not UFO, the sub Submarine. And then go back to um, Lily Cove and do the Aqua slash Magma Hideout. In, well, if you're playing Ruby, but I don't I don't quite remember where the Magma Hideout and Emerald fits into the order of things. But I mean, I 
I guess it's uh, easy enough to just, you know, do with some trial and error. Trial and error. I guess right after this I'm just gonna cut and get back to uh, the start of this route, because, you know, it's impossible to do road route. Route 1, 2, 3, um, in just one go, if you want to get everything, you have to do, you know, first the top and then the bottom, or vice versa. Actually, one of the first fights, you know, this fight with the uh, Cool Trainer, well, is he called the Cool Trainer still? Or did they, hmm, I don't remember. Anyway, the fight with this trainer is the first one where... You know, we've actually done quite a bit of switching. Because now, actually, this is something I actually really like about uh, Emerald and, yeah, Cool Trainer. Uh, Emerald, and you see it also a little bit, for example, in Platinum, uh, that around, you know, the sixth batch or so, you see, begin to see a lot of variety in the trainers, which I, you know, I really appreciate, because, you know, it's nice to see some Oh my god. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my microphone picked up on that. But just, well, I mean, I've, I've heard in re when I've listened back to recordings just how fucking sensitive my microphone can be, because I can hear, like, cars driving past. And I live... I'm, I'm in... I live on the fourth floor of a building, and I can still hear, you know, my microphone picking up cars all the way down in the road. Like, that's crazy. Anyway, see you back at the beginning of that route. And we are back. Now we're gonna, you know, do the the lower part of this route. I'll tell you right, I want to rip through this tune. I'm telling you, bird Pokemon are my obsession. What do you mean, bird Pokemon? Do you mean flying type Pokemon? Oh, <laughs> Fernando and Alberto. Why did both of those have like? Hispanic names. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know why I did a pause there, but oh well. God. Still can't get over that my friend got a shiny starter. Jesus, god damn it. And he just, you know, between in the cut there, I checked that he had sent another, um, another snap. That, you know, um... Because in Heart Gold Soul Silver, if your Pokemon is shiny, it actually shows up on the field that it is shiny. We're just so fucking cool! Oh, I'm so jealous! <laughs> oh god. I guess that is my, uh, my punishment for it. Because I've, I've actually gotten a lot of shinies this year. Like, just this year in general. Like, um, <laughs> I'm not sure if I've told this, but I've actually gotten a sh um, I think I told about the story that I got a shiny male combi, um, which, you know, is also kind of hilarious, but I was playing through Pokemon Ultra Sun, and, um, one thing that I do every, um, uh, Generation 7 playthrough is that I transfer over uh, a living Pokedex to the new um, save file. Not to use any of those Pokemon, like they are just in the the box pretty much until I, you know, either... Well, until I do one specific thing, which is um, I pick up the shiny charm so that I have the shiny charm, you know, while I'm doing the playthrough. Uh, so from... Um, Right after I've done the the water trial, I have a shiny charm so that, you know, that there might be a possibility of me getting a shiny, you never know. Well, at least there, you know, there's a, an increased possibility. And usually I don't get shinies, you know, they don't just pop up even though you have the shiny charm. Uh, you know, if you're, you're SOS chaining, it's... The, 
you might see one a little more easily, but um, they, they usually don't just pop up. <laughs> but the other day, it sure did just pop up. Because uh, I was grinding, actually, because I was going to do the, the fire trial. Because I think I actually even uh, mentioned on... Uh, and an earlier part that I was doing the fire trial and it kicked my ass pretty much. Um, but uh, so yeah, I was grinding and then boom, I didn't even notice it. Like I, I noticed it. I was just about to click on a on an attack, <laughs> select an attack, and then I just saw that you know, wait, that Salant it doesn't look normal, and you know, lo and behold, that was a shiny Salant it. A male shiny salandit. <laughs> and for those who don't know, male salandits cannot become, uh, cannot evolve into salazzle. So, uh, yep, my shiny male salandit is, you know, forever stuck <laughs> as a salandit. But, you know, I feel like some people would be mad about that. But honestly, I, I'm kind of living for that. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. Oh, okay. I was almost scared there for a l short little second there. Okay, yeah, okay. Phew. <laughs> that could have potentially ended badly, but uh, thankfully it didn't. It didn't. And Narcissus is up to level 33. Slowly but surely catching up to the rest of the team. Overwhelmed. Ah, a mighty capable child. Let me contribute to your allowance. Fink. <laughs> Jackie. And I, yeah, the, those are the, the twins. So that was the end of Route 123. So now it is back, and I also remembered between, uh, between, well, in the cut, that, um, oops, we forgot to check, uh, the Shuppet, or Sardine, <laughs> Sardine, um, check if it was, uh, usable or not, you know, crossing my fingers, but I'm not keeping my hopes up, oh, so let's see what we got. Uh, come on. Give me something good. Eh. Eh. I mean, Bayonet has really shitty speed. So I guess it's still usable, but I think I'm, s <laughs> I think I'm keeping Spunt over over Shuppet. So, oh well. Oh, also I should um put our um. Ooh, actually no. I think I'm gonna keep Zigzagoon on uh, well not the team, but uh, on the uh, the back burner since it, you know it has pickup. So. It might be able to pick up some useful I items for us, you never know. But, I think that's gonna be it for today, so I'm gonna be seeing you guys in the next time. Goodbye.